Hello and welcome back to this series on uh, using Python for social networks. Now in this series, uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different than what other people do when they are making tutorials on producing network maps. Uh, oftentimes when people look at network maps in Python, they are coming from the vantage point of data science or uh, mathematics. And instead in this video, I'm coming to it from a digital humanities perspective. So because of that, we're going to be working with more strings, that is uh, text, rather than numbers. Because that's the way in which we oftentimes structure network maps, and that's always the way in which we structure social network maps, which are typically going to involve people, places, and texts, and concepts. So without further ado, let's kind of just jump in. In this video, I'm going to kind of introduce you to some of the most basic functions contained in the Network X module. I'm going to give you that Pythonic syntax for working with Network X. That is the correct syntactical way to uh, to import it. And some of the basic functions, such as the graph function, the add node function. And I'm also going to show you how to actually read the data that's produced by Network X with the Network X module. Uh, oftentimes what you see is the data being rendered uh, in matplotlib to produce network maps. We're going to look at that in the next video. In this video, we're going to use some other commands to kind of see these this data, such as uh, the number of nodes function and the nodes function. And I'm going to show you a couple other ways of kind of performing similar tasks using uh, more Pythonic uh, standard library functions, such as list and for loops. So without further ado, let's kind of get started with uh, with your introduction to creating nodes in Network X. If you remember from the last video, a node is one of the three basic social network terms we covered. A node is an individual datum, that is a single piece of data. So how do we import Network X? Well, the Pythonic way in which you do it is you import Network X, just like as you would think, but you always import it as an X. This is not necessary to do. It is, however, the standard way to do it, and I highly encourage you to get used to that. The, the reason for this is because it allows for you to call the network X with just two characters, an N and an X, rather than having to type out network X as a whole. So once you import network X, you are going to create, and this is the, again, Pythonic way of doing this, a object called G. This is gonna stand for graph. And object G is going to be index.graph, which is calling the graph function. So this is going to essentially create a graph in memory. And we are going to be calling that object multiple times as we add nodes to it. And in later videos, as we add edges to those nodes. So how do you add a node in network X? Well, you simply call G and you use the command add node. And as I said, we're uh, not going to be working with numbers right now. We're going to be working with strings. So let's use people's names. So we're going to add a node, Tom. And because we don't want Tom to be all by himself, we're going to add another node. And we're going to call this one Jerry. So we got Tom and Jerry. Wonderfully original. Great. So we've simply added two nodes to this graph. Now, you might think to yourself that if you want to see those two nodes, all you have to do is simply print G, which is going to print off this graph. If we do this, however, nothing is going to happen. I'll even show you. So we print it off and we get, uh, oh, <laughs> import module as network X helps if you actually have a K there and spell it correctly. But we run this, uh, we run this script and we see nothing actually printed out in the output. And why is that? It's very simple. We are trying to print off a graph and we cannot print off a graph in this uh, module be, or in this uh, output because we need another module to process graph data and render it as an image. That's where matplotlib comes in and that's what we're gonna see in the next video. For now, let's just look at how we can kind of call this data and look at it within Python. There are a couple different ways to do this. We can convert this to a list by using print list and making G into a list. In other words, we're going to take that graph data and we're going to render it strictly as a list. So we do this and we see that as we would expect, our output, I've just copied and pasted it up here for you to see better, 
our output is Tom and Jerry rendered as a Python list. That's wonderful. Once we have this data as a list, we can do some things with it that are kind of interesting. We can actually loop uh, through this list. So for I and G, so we're creating a simple for loop for every item in uh, G, that list, we are going to print off I. So we go down here, this is the output. We see very clearly Tom and Jerry, because it's printing off the list up here, being rendered as a list. And then we are going through and we are seeing each item in that list produced as a string through this for loop. That's fantastic. But Network X actually has ways built into it to actually do just this. We are simply going to print off the nodes of G. And the way we do that is we call the nodes function. So we are going to print in X, calling our NX module, nodes G. And what we're going to see here is the exact same output as G, um, making G into a list. As we can see there, Tom and Jerry are listed. What's also fascinating is that now that we know that we can call this data as a list, we can also call the length of that list. So we can print off the length of G. And this is going to tell us two. We can do that in a, another way using the NX uh, function of NX dot number of nodes. And we are going to say that we want to call the um, G graph. And we can do that. And we see both outputs are two and two. Here's where this gets really fascinating. I want you to stop and think to yourself, what would happen if we added a another individual who's also named Tom. So we're going to add another node named Tom. So we got two different guys named Tom. What's going to happen when we print this off? We see both, in both instances, we see two once again. So why is this happening? Well, let's try to figure that out. Print G, or sorry, nx.nodes G. So now we're going to print off that list to see why is there only two individuals, even though we know we have three. And we see that Tom and Jerry are the only ones listed, just one Tom and just one Jerry. Why has this happened? It's happened because uh, Network X will not allow for two characters to exist in the same uh, list that have the same name. So if you have two individuals who have a similar name, you're going to need to find a way to delineate them. Now, you can do this with a birth year. Uh, you can do this with a title. This is really up to you and however you want to do this. But I highly encourage you to be um, systematic and be consistent. Managing your data in a consistent manner is going to make your life a lot easier. And it's going to make people who look at your data a lot happier because they will see a pattern and they will come to understand uh, that pattern and expect it. So I'm just going to do something like this, Tom2. And when I print this off, we're going to now see that there are, in fact, two different Toms. We've resolved that issue entirely. So this is how you create basic nodes in Python. This is how you use some of the basic functions, such as uh, add node, number of nodes, nodes, and graph. And also, a couple ways of doing it without using the NX mod uh, functions, you can simply use the list function that's built into Python, and you can use a for loop to iterate across that list. We are going to probably be using the for loop um, the most throughout this series. And I'm going to be speaking about how to loop through data sets in uh, lecture number nine, in which I show you how to import data from anything, XML, Excel, JSON, uh, data structures, and iterate through all that data to create a very elaborate graph from a single data set. For now, however, all I expect you to come away with from this video is a basic understanding of how to use the add node function and how to view that data using the Network X library. Stick with me and in the next video, we're going to take that data and we're going to map it out on a map to show nodes rendered visually. Thank you for listening.